Oh, whoops. Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the game of Calcutarn. Now, Jedi Outcast. I hold. I held Alt for just a second, not thinking he would do anything. Apparently, it fires my alternate fire. Uh, so that's always a good way of starting things off. And we're back to doing the good old Brayer pistol and and that rapid fire stormtrooper weapon strategy. What the hell is this? Oh wow! Cryo tubes. What could possibly these be for? Actually, I don't even remember the story of this game, so I can't even pretend to like do like some kind of spoiler shit. But here we go. Ah, every time and more lasers, more freaking lasers. That's okay. Actually, that thing just doesn't even shoot. bother shooting me. I'll just kill them all with my bear pistol. That's like the ultimate insult. It just takes a really long time. Alright, I think we're good here. So, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. He's out of sneaky, so I thought I would take some time. I said in the credits, or the opening sequence, the, the very the very quiet opening sequence that I would talk about uh, the movies uh, or at least the new ones so I have never actually been that much of a Star Wars fan uh, it's it's okay I guess uh, I think I think my favorite ones were basically uh, the, the essentially the first two that were ever made um, not because of some nostalgic factor I just thought they were actually pretty good and at least in terms of story and stuff um, and the effects were actually pretty good as well for its time. Uh, then suddenly computer CGI took over and I'm going to use it back to tank so I can take this guy. Apparently I cannot take the shield thing if my shield is already 50 but I can take it from the other shield things. Just something interesting. I don't know if that's related to difficulty. I assume it is. Uh, anyway, so I don't really have any attachment or nostalgia related to Star Wars. I've enjoyed the Star Wars games not because of Star Wars, but more because they were just kind of good games. LucasArts was a pretty good company. Uh, not always, but sometimes. Yeah, that's a lot of guys. So, uh, I thought the prequels were garbage, um, also because I think George Lucas had a bit of a fun time with CGI. He didn't know what to do with it, he wasn't a very good kind of movie guy for that kind of stuff. But, and also I think I think the other thing was that the, I think the new movies, uh, the, the basically the prequels, episodes 1 to 3 rather than 4 to 6. Give uh, up, rebel. Give up, rebel. Oh. I'll take his security key. I think it was, I, I honestly think the prequels are just made for kids, I'll be honest. Uh, and so it kind of didn't appeal to me. It's kind of like watching a Spongebob movie. Like, why? I can keep pressing this. Good, I broke the glass. Wanton death and destruction, guys. So yeah, so it's it basically yeah, it went, it went like that. Um, as I said, I have no real attachment to Star Wars at all, so I just said, okay, it was bad. It wasn't that I was particularly looking forward to. Um, you know, it was like whatever. If you like it, I don't, I don't give a crap. And then Disney bought. Uh, Star Wars, and so I'm like, well, George Lucas already ruined it. Let's see what Disney will do. Because honestly, I always hated Disney, kind of a thing. I mean, they've made. I think some of their classic movies are pretty good, but uh, they slowly kind of declined in quality a little bit, uh, just slowly over time. And then basically, a lot of their crap is just garbage. So it's just like, okay, whatever. I did not have high hopes for that because I, I basically said from the very get go. <sighs> It was going to be essentially another Star Wars movie designed by committee. And that's kind of what came out of it. It was essentially, you can tell when it's like basically a melding pot of ideas. Like nobody took, nobody can take control because everybody likes Star Wars. Wow. That poor guy. And uh, it was, it was pretty bad. It was a pretty bad movie, I have to say. 
It was mostly, I think, that the characters were particularly sh uh, shallow in that. In the fact that, uh, I wish I could open these, actually. I probably can, and it's probably not here. Um, I, I thought the characters were particularly shallow, especially that, uh, the main, uh, lead. Uh, whatever her name was, Ray or whatever. Uh, they basically set her up to be essentially a flawless character. Um... And she absolutely faces no adversity whatsoever. It's a very boring movie. It's kind of, I, I think it's its more of like the, she has a very kind of like a Superman complex of like, she doesn't have any special powers, but she essentially is perfect at everything. And she get, knows the way out of every situation. And they tried to make this as a, they tried to make it as like a, 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 a they try to make her a strong lead essentially. <laughs> And it just ended up being un completely unbelievable and completely unrelatable, too. And I think it's just someone's fantasy kind of a thing. It's like, oh, I, I'm perfect at everything, even though I have... Like, as I said, every good character in any any kind of movie or whatever has to face some adversity. Like, even Cal Katarn has, like, more... More, uh, more kind of character to him than, uh, than whoever it was Ray ever did. Uh, if you've ever seen the movies, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. But it's just, all I'm saying is, it was pretty bad. Um, it was just a terrible, terrible movie. And if you liked it, then I don't really give a fuck. I just think you have a poor taste in movies, that's all. This is actually kind of why I think I levitate more towards video games anyways. Because video games are very, uh... Oh, well, they're, they're like, I, I think it's like a better art form. I think movies are just kind of like... You get, I think, maybe one good movie once in a while. I mean, I think the last decent movie I think I saw was like Avatar, and that was it. And that that was that was a pretty good movie, and, I, and that's that's all I really enjoyed. I just uh, I don't hold my breath for anything that comes out because a lot of it's pretty bad. And I just watch things on Netflix when it comes out, and <laughs> most of it's trash, so it's okay. I don't. Know, I just I kind of I have high expectations. You know what? It, it's funny because I'm not a guy who's really into the story in, in video games or movies or like because movies are all about the story, right? And so I think I just I don't like I like to be surprised. I don't like lowbrow kind of uh, essentially kind of I don't know. So basically, it's just someone's agenda and it's not really a story kind of thing. I don't know. It's like, you can just kind of tell, it's like, this is kind of like, not a good movie, there's no character development kind of things like that, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, you guys can have your own opinions on it for all I care. Um, that's just mine. I make my own opinions, so. You're going to be hard pressed to change mine. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I'm not, I'm not unchangeable in opinions, but. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get clear! Watch the line! Ah! Oh, Shit. There we go. Ah, uh, it's so nice when that happens. I keep hearing someone from my left kind of headphone speaker thing. I think it's. I think he's like in there. I keep aggroing people through the walls too. That's the worst part. What the hell? Is it? Oh, that's the vent I was just in. Alright, let's go back and get some health, because I think I missed some health back here. Actually, it was, in, it was in... Oh, no, it was a back to tank here, no? There was a back to tank somewhere, that's all I know. I, I want to get the health, because we've, we've expended a lot of resources on this kind of crap. Ah, uh, right here. This guy... Oh, there's a back to tank. Uh, oh, yeah. Feels good. Dude, back to has to be, like, the best drug in, like, the entire universe. Because it seems like it feels really good in every single game that ever has them. Oh well. Alright. What we got? So they clearly had some prisoners here. And they have some machinery here. Of certain caliber. Oh, they got some guns here as well. And a bunch of control panels. This is a problem with things like Star Wars, Star Trek, and whatever. We live in the age of smartphones. It just, this shit doesn't age very well. Actually, what am I doing? They, they got mines over there. I can't even deal with that. Why would you be standing beside the mines, is my question. Alright. 
I'm gonna guess it's gonna lead back to something else. So I'm gonna first go over here. Or actually it just goes down here. That wasn't actually that loud this time. It goes over here. Wait, wait, something activated, didn't it? Oh, that, that, that was activated. Just more, more turrets. Okay, maybe I take it all back. LucasArts maybe isn't very, that creative. Why, why am I killing them with like the slowest weapon possible? Because I can. Because this game doesn't stop me. Because these things have a very limited range, apparently. Honestly, I don't know why they can't just shoot me from there. Alright. Whoops. That was a really piss poor jump. God, if only I had force powers. If only Jedi Knights existed. Alright. And that's it. That's it for the items you can get here. Oh, there was some energy there, but I decided not to get it. Alright, let's go back up then. It's always nice to get a couple of items. Oh, it can destroy these. Is that even an objective, or am I just like doing wanton destruction? Well, I'm just supposed to investigate the hidden section of the outpost here. So clearly they were doing some experiments, some nasty experiments. Why am I carrying this out? You hear something? Oh, this is fucking awful. That thing is shooting its friends. Okay. Okay, that's actually like a long range turret. Oh, I killed- Oh, there was a guy on it! I, I actually couldn't see that. Someone was actually on the turret. Oh, I see. And it uh, looks like I get to do the same thing. Or no, I don't. I get just to, just to pretend I do. Oh, now I do. Got to. You guys like turret sections? No, well, too fucking bad. This is easier than actually trying to hit them with the weapons. Shit. Joking? I think I could actually take damage on this thing. I, I'm Kyle Katarn Jedi Knight on the turret. Alright. That uh, went pretty smoothly. What the hell is this guy? Oh, it's a crystal. Ah, oh, some nice lasers. Oh, let's put the other control panel. Why the fuck is this even an option? Why is there two pedals that let you do this? Can I just shut this off? Ah! Apparently not. Apparently I should have just gotten out of there. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk you know, we talk about the Fire. lax oh well, we're not fucking We just make sure quick loading. Yeah, it, it sends you back to the beginning of the level if you don't win, so you better not be a casual. Or or just do quick saves. Huh? But don't be a casual anyways. Alright. Let's try this again. It is. I, I, yeah, you can't turn it off again. So you're, like, I just imagine some imperial officer going, "Oh shit, I fucked up." Uh oh. Depending how I get over there. Oh, here we go. I think we just go through. I think it's like a laser maze. That seems pretty easy. This must have been some crystal, but as I said, once again, lack safety standards at. Uh, uh, now destroyed, of course. I'm gonna step on the hot lava stuff. Okay, apparently not. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm clearly wearing protective suit. Can't you see? Look at this. Best protective suit. All right. Well, there's a bunch of crystals still around here. Uh, there's a. I need a security key for this place. Well, let's just eat the health and 
I actually think I know what we're supposed to do here, but... What? Why did I take, why did I take damage? Oh, it's like radiation in there. Okay, maybe I don't want to go in there. Alright. Pretty sure... Oh, wait, there's a, there's a guy here who died. Okay, we got what we needed. There, that's what, that's what the These puzzle is there. Okay, apparently I interrupted the the dialogue by is sucking up my back to but there's dry, these are droid controls. Let's so. see what this little guy can do. So because it's radioactive, I can actually just step in there. I'm like a, a, little, a little droid. Not safe in there. A nice giant crystal here. Did I do this? I'm gonna assume I did. Can't go in there. Yeah, I can do like totally sweet 360 no scope with the droid. Whoa. Yeah, okay, that's really not that amazing. Oh, that's it. We turn off the generators here. Oh, I'm still gonna go explore. No, actually, we're not. We're gonna go right back here. Right on top of this body. Let's look at him. I want him to, I want to watch. Alright, we're done. <laughs> Poor guy. He died to a droid. Can we grab this? No, apparently not. Well, nothing we can do here. Oh well. I just want to mention though, the the shadows that wow, this guy just completely one v one to me. The shadows that you're seeing with regards to the um, I, I I mentioned it earlier the, the vertex. Uh, why are the what did there so many people fucking here? Let me out. I don't want in. It's actually probably the worst thing in the world. Okay, fuck it. We're going. Fuck it. I hate this door too much. Let's just go balls out. I mean, the less people shoot me, the better. They don't seem to care about these crystals at all. Although, I would say, judging by that last room, they're pretty dangerous, but I don't actually know what was wrong with that room. Alright, we did it. Thank fuck for that. So, I was gonna say, the, the little vertex shaders, that you, uh, the vertex shadows that you see, apparently cause a lot of performance issues, and I remember when I got this game for, on, my, on my machine from ages ago, it, it I couldn't have that on. I had to have simple shadows, which is the giant blob below you. Um, since then, technology has sort of improved, so... What's the objective now? Okay, I'm gonna just have drugs. Uh, need to rendezvous with uh, Jam. Well, looks like we've discovered it. They were they were harvesting crystals. I just thought I could kill that stuff. Jan, I found an exit. Good. Grab some of those crystals and get yourself out of there. This place is giving me the creeps. Lord Dasan, this is Admiral Fire. Ah, Admiral Fire, how go our experiments? As of this moment, they're not going at all. The testing facility on Kajim has been neutralized by a pair of New Republic mercenaries, and they've taken some of the crystals. Mercenaries? Oh. Judging by their ship and the conversations our cameras picked up, I believe it was the pilot Jan Oz and her mercenary partner Kyle Katarn. Katarn, eh? This setback could prove to be the answer to all our problems. I'm afraid we haven't been able to decode any more of that transmission. Good. If I put the Valley of the Jedi behind me, so can the rest of the galaxy. So what were the Remnant doing in that lab? 
Our scientists believe that they were trying to artificially infuse the powers of the Force into living subjects. Those crystals you're holding are very much like those found in a Jedi's lightsaber. Spast! But that's impossible, isn't it? You can't just give people the Force with a machine, right? Everything we know about the Force tells us that such devices are nothing but the fevered dreams of fools and madmen, Jan. But try telling that to those poor beings you found in that laboratory. Who were they? Colonists from Artus Prime, a remote mining world in the far reaches of the New Republic's influence. Let me guess. Crystal mining. Yes. We lost contact with them shortly before receiving the transmission from Kejim. Now we fear that the colony has been captured by the Remnant. Or worse. Indeed. Without knowing the full extent of the Remnant's plans, or the colonists' plight, the New Republic is uneasy about sending in a full Liberation Force, so... So you'd like us to sneak in, assess the situation, and call on the fleet if necessary? Yes. You know I don't like messing with this Force business anymore. We'll double your usual fee. We'll take it. Come on, Jan. I don't want to take it. All right, I'm clear. This meteor storm gives us great cover. Everything's closed up. They'll never see us coming. Good. The colony should be a few clicks out. I'll scout things out from the air while you head into the mine. Give me a shout when you find out what's going on. Will do. Hey, it's a good old moldy crow. And all its glory. Uh, alright, so... Uh, wait, it goes, infiltrate the mining facility, cripple the mining operation. Uh, but we don't know if anything's wrong. This could be totally legit right now. We're just gonna cripple for no reason. Oh, there's a damaged droid here. We're, we're gonna just cripple it no matter what, that's one of our objectives. It's like, no matter what, even if everything's smoothly. It's, uh, you wanna, you wanna, we wanna damage it. better try not to attract too much attention. Alright. I think we wanna dodge the spotlights. Alright, guys, it's, this is better stealth than Splinter Cell. Back to tank. Down here. Oh, like a guide died. Oh yeah, it is a miner. Well, fortunately for us, we have a we now have a the crossbow, which is I think. What? I I was about to say I think it's a better weapon than all the other stuff, but. I mean, it's pretty accurate. I think we just attracted some attention, guys. I think the spotlight saw me, but it's honestly like a... I don't know, it's, it's a bit wonky. I'm gonna leave that shield there, because I may actually want to get that back. Yeah, I think it's just... I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, it did, it did spot me. Oh well, if that's, the, if that's the only punishment for it spotting me, I don't care. Alright, that was really close. I don't even know, is this like a meteor storm? Yeah, it was. Oh, that is no longer an option. I mean, he literally just said meteor storm, giving us great cover. But it's also making this platforming. Thanks, kid. I think, I think we're back here, aren't we? Yeah, we are. This time I actually haven't aggroed it yet. I, I don't think there's any- I don't think I have any choice. Maybe I do. Oh, okay, I- So this time I didn't aggro the- the alarm, so... And let's not go over there. Yeah, cause it gets destroyed, that's such a jerk thing to do. Alright, well we're back here anyways. Alright, we did it guys, and we did it even with stealth. I have the cover of this this low ass thing, but it doesn't seem to work all that well, to be honest. 
I, like that's a terrible place for cover right there. How did they even know I was there though? That's a question. Let's try going this way. You know what? I, I feel this would be a better path. Anyone out there? I, you know, I really like this weapon. This is actually infinitely better than the other thing. Fucker. They use different ammo supplies. The one of them is energy, which we have power cells right there. And the other one is energy. Which you can see me use the entire freaking time. Oh, we have to go upstairs actually first. I don't know why. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, because of course they would have uh, cover. The meteor storm, guys. I have to close the hatches. Oh, there we go. We got it. All right. Well, Hunter. Well, we know that the remnant are here now. So, what's our objectives now? Oh, cripple the mining operation. We never saw it coming. All right, guys. That's all the time we got for today. See you guys next time. Bye.